Hello everybody, it's Bottle Hunters of CT again. Just come to ask you about a couple more bottles that I have dug up today. This one is first. Let me just get better, better light. There we are. This one is first because it is 1920s to 1940s. But when we dug this up at the ball dump today, it was proposed that this could be the old-fashioned 7-Up bottle. I want to confirm this. If this is alcohol, it's still pretty cool and I'm going to keep it in my collection. Let me just give you a better look at it. Right here, the seam goes right up the bottle, right there. Right there. There's the bottom of it. Actually, the bottom of it looks pretty sandy. I don't know if it's that's a flaw or not. But speaking of flawed bottles, here are these two bottles. Let's see. I'll show you this one second since that's the flawed one. But they're both the same, I think. One, This one has the seam going up to the top of the mouth. But the other one doesn't. This one does not have a number on the bottom. But that one does. This one is flawed, too. Look at how thick... Look at how thick that that seam is. And it does not go up to the mouth. So is this an, is this possibly a 1900s bottle? And this one's from the 1920s. But yet, it has numbers. And this one does not. I need to know this. So if any of you out there can help me, I think I already know who's going to help me because he always comments, but, um, if any of you can help me out, out at all with these two bottles, and this one right here, that would be super, super fantastic, because I don't know shit about these bottles, since they're blanks, and I want to know if I have something good here, something different, I don't know. So, uh, thanks for watching again, and this is Bottle Hunters of CT signing off. Um, tomorrow also might be the premiere of episode 3. Episodes are coming back faster and faster. My ball collection hasn't changed, in case if you're wondering. These are all my bottles so far. So, yep, uh, that's it from the Ball Hunters of CT. Thank you for watching.